Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So the last video I left you outside giant Norwich in the hope of sorting out some of the creaks and rattles on this bike. But due to the Covid, everyone's got back on their bikes and the earliest I can get services was sort of August, September. So I thought, how hard can it be to try and sort out some headset, bottom bracket service, maybe a few other things. So anyway, today I'm going to have a go at headset service. Now the only thing with this one, being a Trek Remedy, it's got the knock block which stops the handlebars turning all the way around. Now, I haven't done this before, so uh, let's see how hard it can be. <laughs> right, so the first thing I'm going to do, take the front wheel out. Watch that. Pop that back in there. Just tighten that up. Right, so first thing you do, take the front wheel off. Leave that there for now. A little one side. Alright, next thing, I'm going to grab one of these brake spacers. Just pop that in the caliper. So now, if I do catch the brake lever, I shan't be pushing the pads out. Right, next thing, grab some Allen keys. Yeah, I could use that. Okay, I don't have my Allen keys handy, so uh, let's go for a multi-tool. Now I'm just going to take this caliper off so we can drop the forks out. There's a little O seal on there, so uh, be careful not to lose that. What size is it? That one. <laughs> I'm just going to take the mount off and I'm going to leave the bolts in there for safekeeping so I don't lose them. Right, next up, I'm going to take this little clamp off. And be careful not to drop any little screws or bolts. Just take that off, just put it back on there for safekeeping. Right. 
pilot over there. All right, next up, I'm just going to slacken these stem bolts off. All right, so they're loose. And try and pull this little cover off. And put that somewhere safe so you don't lose it. Just gonna lay that in there. Right, I'm slacking off this. Move the uh, kitchen towel. Right, that's the stem bolt removed. That's on with safekeeping. Now grab hold of the forks and lift off your handlebars. I'm hoping they will just dangle gently. There we go, and the fork is now starting to drop out already. So I'm just there we go, put it in the in your bottle cage. <laughs> right, lift the spaces out. Just gonna keep those in order, and then the knock block just lifts off. I need a good clean out. So if you lay these things out in the order they came off, I'll make it put them put it back together much easier. So there's the knock block system. So you can just see I've got this upstand and these coats in there, which obviously once it hits the limits it stops it turning any further. All right, so now lower the fork out gently. And you see, you've got the braces to come out there. So we'll just prise those out. They're yeah, a little bit gritty. I'm just going to pop those on there for the moment. And we'll clean those up later. Right now, take those bearings out. We need to remove this part of the knock block system. Too big enough. Blimey, that's a bit tight. I shall put that up there so it doesn't roll away. Now I'm going to get a little, see if I've got a little pick. Just to see if I can lift this out. Oh, it's loose, just a bit tight. Right, and there's the Trek knock block piece, for want of a better word. Grab a bit of rag. Right, let's lift this out. That's easy. Right, so there we have the top part of the headset laid out in order. So I'm now going to go around and give those a clean up with the rag and put some fresh grease in. 
and then we'll look at doing the bottom set there on the fork. Right, I was just going to start this bottom one. Let's give that a good clean round. And let's check to see how that feels. Now it's nice and smooth, there's no greenness. So the bearing should be good for a while longer. And just clean this piece up. Finally, the actually you call that like a sea washer or something, split washer. Yeah, I'll give it that. Because if those bearings do feel gritty, you could try and prise those seals off, give them a good clean out with something like WD, and then pack some new grease in. That does feel quite smooth. Still got some grease in there. So I'm not going to uh, strip that apart today. And then finally, the uh, knock block cover. Obviously we've got some proper cleaning chemicals or solvents. Might work better. But I think everything's just a little bit loose on the bike rather than gritty. Let's have a look at the frame. Let's try and wipe all this old grease out of here. And then from underneath. Make sure these like bearing surfaces are clean and free of any contaminants or grit. Grab the little pick, trying to get those corners. There we go. Just see if I've got any deep clean up. Give that a little spray. Right, turn our attention at the bottom part of this, so we'll take that bearing off. And again, wipe before, just clean all the old grease off of that to begin with. And just test how smooth the bearing is. Now that does feel nice and smooth, there's no greenness there at all, so don't need to replace that. Let's just see if I can pack some more grease in there. And then, if I grab the pick again. I might need that just to take a ball race off. Let's give this a really good clean around. see there's not really any signs of wear on that which is good 
just try and get right into those little bits there. Any grease, any dirt. Try not to uh, smear it all up your arm like I've just done. Right, so I would say everything's looking fairly clean. Right, so let's start reassembling. Grab some grease so I can know where I'll put it. There we go. So I'm just going to put a good amount around here. Some around the uh, the bearing as well, making the right mess of that. Right, smear that around. Try and get some inside that bearing again. down, make sure it's nice, seated nicely. Drop this bearing back in the headset. Okay, just try and get some more grease in there. Again, making a right mess of this one. Best I should have got it served probably, but oh well. Grease just wipe round the frame, just where this bearing is going to sit. All right, drop that in. Now I'm going to put the uh, the knot block part back in. little screw in. Now this one doesn't have a torque rating on it. So I'll just do a gentle nip on that. I should hold that. Wipe some of this excess grease off. Now I've put it everywhere but where it needs to be. Right, now grab the fork. Actually, before I do that, let's get some more grease. And I'm just going to put it in the bottom of this headset where the other bearings sit. A little bit more. Hopefully you can see that. If not, we'll uh, come down from the top. Right, there we go. So grab the fork and gently slide that back into the frame.
Oh, yeah, that's that. Right, now I've got the top bearing in and that piece of knock block. Just grab the fork, make sure the bearing is still sat down there as it is. Right, now carefully insert this back into the frame. So obviously make sure your fork is the right way around, unlike what I previously did. <laughs> so this is now take two. So as you can see, the fork is the correct way. Right, let's now grab that little split washer going to slide that on and keeping hold of the fork doesn't fall out just push that in right next up the top of the knock block which are pre-greased it does have some little seals in there so just push that on make sure that's there we go that's hitting the, hitting the stops See so if we can just line it up better by eye. Alright, next up, grab your spacers. And then finally, your handlebars. Just drop them on there. And then hopefully they should locate. Well, there we go. Alright, so still holding on to your fork. Grab that top cap. Place that on, and then I'm just going to gently nip this uh, this bolt up because it has a, a torque rating of four newton meters. So I'm just going to nip this up, and you should hopefully just start to feel it. Pull the fork and just stem together. So I'll just nip it gently there. Now, if you look down, just try and gently line everything up. Bezel. Just going to try and centre that knob a little bit because I see us out. It's fairly straight right now. Grab the torque wrench. A four mil, yep. So set this to oh, honestly, look, you lend your tools to the man in the White House and he leaves them wound up, which isn't good for a torque wrench, apparently. Right, so there, four newton meters. Pop the tool on, and I'm just going to nip this up. There we go, that's done. And then just nip these headset bolts up. Okay, I'm just going to give them a gentle nip because they are rated at 5.2. So then grab that torque wrench. That's a, about five. And then nip that. That one. That's that done. Now, hopefully, that's not loose or wobbly. What's rattling there is the brake. Right, so now what I'm going to do is oops, I'm just going to fit this. the uh, brake caliper
Okay, I'm just going to wind this on loosely. I'm not going to go up tight because I need to realign it once I've got the wheel back in. Gentle nip, so you can still still move the caliper around when we get the wheel on. Well, I've now got that stuck. Right, pull that spacer out. Take the front axle out. Grab the wheel. And carefully insert the wheel and hopefully get the disc into the caliper. He says that twats it one. There we go, that's in. Get the axle in. Do it up as normal. There we go. Right now, finally. Just to align that caliper. Because now it's loose, what I like to do is just give the brake a squeeze. Then with the correct size hex driver, just nip that up while holding on to the brake. So they're just gently nipped, release the brake. Just gonna do the wheel spin. You just hear that scraping. Now don't put your fingers in the rotor or the spokes because that's a very stupid thing to do. But now I'm just gonna, just by eye, just align the caliper up and then finally nip it in place and then do it up with a torque wrench. But hopefully, that is it. For the headset service so i shall end that video there now you can always uh, like and subscribe because hopefully for the next one we shall tackle the bottom bracket give that a quick clean and service and then i think we also need a lower leg service so play to keep going anyway catch you all later